Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. NVIDIA has just released a versatile Swiss Army knife style family of vision encoders called as C-Radio. These models come in four versions, width, base, large, huge and giant. They provide users with potential choices based on their computing resources and performance need. We are going to install this giant version of radio on our system and we will see how it works. If you don't know what a vision encoder is, a vision encoder, specifically a vision transformer or VIT or VIT, is a neural network designed to interpret and analyze images. It splits images into smaller patches and uses transformer architecture to learn relationship between these patches, creating rich numerical representation called as embedding. These embeddings are then useful for many downstream tasks like classifying images, detecting objects, segmenting scenes, and combining vision with language in larger models. So let's get it installed and we will see how it works. Let me also thank Mast Compute for sponsoring this VM and this GPU, which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I'm also creating a virtual environment. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So do check them out. Let's install the prerequisites, which include torch and transformers and few other tidbits. And while it does that, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. And you can find the link to their website in video's description. Okay, let's see what is happening here. Almost there. Now let's launch our Jupyter Notebook. And I'm going to download this giant model with G, the radio one. And the model is being downloaded. You can see that this size is just around 4.6. And the model is downloaded and has also shown us its layers and architecture as we also evaluated it. Let me show you the VRAM consumption. So just taking close to 5 gig of VRAM, the giant one. Okay, let's uh, try to see how exactly this thing works. So let me paste the code and I will explain what is happening. So I have just grabbed a local image from my system. This is just an image of a bear. And then you can see that we are getting some pixel values. So what is happening in these two lines of pixel values is that we are processing image data. Um, for example, we are resizing and normalizing here into a PyTorch tensor format using the image processor from Hugging Face. And then we are moving these pixel values to our GPU for faster computation. If you have a CPU and if you are using the lower version, feel free to omit this line. And then we are uh, here afterwards, we are reshaping the flattened spatial embeddings into a four-dimensional format and four-dimensional format includes batch, channel, height and width using a patch size of 16 pixel. Once that's done, we are printing the dimensions or shapes of both the global summary embedding tensor and the localized spatial feature tensor so that we can view and verify the output. So let's run this. And it has given me the output. Now let's try to understand what exactly this output means. So we have received two tensors from this C radio, radio vision transformer model. So the, this tensor, the torch dot size 13072, this is the summary embedding. It provides a compact global representation of your whole input image. It has one batch dimension and 3072 channels, each channel capturing different visual feature. It's useful when you want a general image level understanding, for example, image classification or image retrieval. Then second one, we have 
these spatial embeddings here. So this gives us localized visual features for smaller details within our image. And this indicates that we have one batch dimension. We have one five three six channel. So each encoding specific visual feature as and then we have 48 by 48 spatial dimension, which means that it is a 48 by 48 grid of smaller image batch feature. And that is how it works. So these localized embeddings can later be used in tasks like um, that require precise spatial information such as object detection, segmentation or detailed image analysis. And we have used these weight models in a lot of other models. Of course, you have to use them for any specific downstream task. And now just for the pure demo purposes, let me show you how you can then build upon this and then uh, classify an image. So for instance, if you look at this code, so and again, this is just a demo purpose. I'm just simulating training by randomly initializing a linear classifier. In real world, you will uh, gather all the embeddings from this giant model, radio model, and then and you will get it from multiple labeled images and then train a proper classifier. But I'm just going to grab it through torch. I'm just using this simple classifier, initializing it and then pre predicting uh, if it is able to predict out of these labels and then it is going to uh, give us the probability score. So let me run this. So you see it says cat, but there is no confidence there. Let's sorry, let's go down and then run it again to see if it is able to randomly. Sorry, I'll just go down to see if it is randomly able to detect bear and the dog. So it has gone up, but the still uh, the confidence is not that high let's run this again and this time it has selected the bear with a bit more confidence but again as i said this is just a random uh, demo of how you would use this um, we have just passed it an input image through width based vision encoder from nvidia we obtained an embedding which is a high level visual representation from that model and then we fed that embedding into a simple linear layer or classifier that tries to determine which category the image belongs to. For practical usage, you typically pre-train or fine-tune such a classifier on your own data set. Um, whatever um, you are using the use case for, and then you can also get some um, classifiers from various providers, which we already have covered on the channel. So, um, but as you can see that a very very good representation of these embeddings with this giant model there are other flavors too if you don't have that uh, much vram you can go with the lower ones but i believe pretty good model and really nvidia has done well here now i'm not sure what exactly are the constraints of this licensing the nvidia open model license but if you're looking to run it commercially check the license out and then go from there let me know what do you think if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.